So fundamentally, universities are worried about uh, how do we make the world a better place, whether that's through educating students uh, or through some of the research that we do. So this is hugely important for a number of reasons. The, perhaps the, the most important bit is that as this is an endowment by Dr. John C. Taylor in perpetuity for a professor of innovation, this is absolutely fantastic because it means that innovation will be at the heart of the university from here onwards. And that's something pretty special. We're very good at coming up with the ideas and we're pretty good at converting those into products and services, but we could be much better. So what we want to make sure is that every student in Cambridge, it's a bit of an ambition, every student in Cambridge should understand how you go from an idea or opportunity into a product and service. And if we can use Cambridge as a little microcosm, a little experiment, an exemplar of how this is done, then we can use that to help other people across the region, across the nation, learn about this. And equally importantly, we want to learn from other people too. And that's what we want to think about very hard. And that's what this professorship is about. It's about understanding what's going on, and actually making sure we inspire people to want to do this and then support them in doing it. So what Cambridge is quite good at is appreciating that there are good ideas everywhere. We need to incorporate those good ideas with our good ideas to make things better. And at the heart of everything is the fact that this professorship is based at Cambridge and specifically within the engineering department and even more specifically within the Institute for Manufacturing. And that's just incredibly exciting because the mission of the Institute for Manufacturing is to manufacture a better world and it just seems like the perfect time with the perfect opportunity to really deliver on that vision. Well, at Great Britain, uh, Cambridge as well, are uh, well known for blue skies, new ideas, new inventions, new patents, uh, but we're not quite so good at changing those into practical reality create employment, to create industries, a lot of them tend to get developed overseas and uh, we miss out. You, you've got to have somebody providing employment. Um, it's all very well to go for the cheapest manufacturer. Cheap, in my mind, is what it means. Cheap is horrible. Um, why not have an industry developed from scratch and made in, in the UK? An invention becomes an innovation in its change from an idea to a prototype to a practical reality to production. And in my words, um, an invention isn't an invention if there isn't a market. It's maybe beautiful blue skies thinking, but uh, it doesn't help humanity. Today is special for two reasons. The first reason is that in front of the clock here, I'm standing, and a few moments ago I had the Professor Innovation, who's been appointed to link the Department of Engineering with the Department of Manufacturing, because that's what innovation is. It's linking and changing an idea into a practical embodiment. Here we are stood in front of the Corpus Chronophage and in the Isle of Man today stamps are being issued showing this very picture of the Chronophage which will be sent out all over the world.